Okay, so today we are looking at the uh, UNI-T UT58C multimeter. This video was actually done as a direct response uh, to a recent video by EEV blog in which he states uh, on his video why all UNI-T multimeters suck. Um, so this is uh, Neil's response to that. Right, well, as you had seen, this meter is 0 0.03 to four out but also in the same respect my Thurlby PL320 power supply is not calibrated also got a whole bit of blanking plate to bodge it up because someone lost one of my sense plates so these meters so it's supposed to be really bad. Let's just start taking it apart. Now I must admit I have already had a quick look at this. Really just took me about five minutes to get that thing off. But, That's tight rubber, you've got to love it. Yeah, but what I'm gonna do is just quickly, I'm not gonna take it apart fully. Well no, I'm assuming that's purely because we still want to use it. Oh yeah, I still want to use it, and it is perfectly good for general purposes of DIY. I mean, I have actually metered, you know, um, measured mains voltages to it. Let's just do it. Yeah, I noticed one of the things on the um, EEV blog video that he did was he was complaining about the fact that, you know, it could potentially kill you if you were doing it at... Right, you get a close one or Right, one of the things I'll say straight away, just quickly, so we're interrupting it, is... Yeah. Um, not brilliantly keen on how they've done the battery, I must admit. Um, battery basically sits loose in the back, yeah, okay. and then these spring clips, when you put the case together, hold it together. But if you just look at that, I don't know if you can get a close up. That's not that bad. No, it's just. I mean, look, you've got trim parts around, nice daughter board. Right, well, the fuse, this is what a lot of people are complaining about. Yeah, it's not a massive thing, but I mean, it's got a new thing. It's got to blow through that, through the front of the case, yeah, right way through and into you. What was one of the comments about it said? It will vaporise you. Yeah, well, yeah, one of the comments was it would vaporise. No, it won't. And people were complaining about the fact that they wouldn't they wouldn't be safe for being used on voltages above five hundred volts. But I mean, I look at this. I mean, obviously, I'm not entirely sure on what the the law is for the U uh, for Australia, but now in the UK, when you're getting to that sort of substation sort of level, you shouldn't really be even touching it if you're not qualified to do so anyway, in which case you'd have the proper equipment. I mean this, we got this from a car boot, and I've had absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. I mean, again, looking at the insides, that's actually very nice. I know one of the things I noticed on EV blog, they were he was flicking. I mean, I must admit, I didn't actually watch his video, listen to it all. But I saw him flicking these springs the whole time, which are only there to link up to the sounder. Mm. Um, they're not going to be a problem. They're not going to drift off. I mean, there are a couple of things. I mean, I'll be honest. A couple of things here, straight when I look at it, I'm not brilliantly chuffed with, and that'd be these components. Where they've got long legs and they've uh, just folded them over on it themselves. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, the, the basics inside are not that bad. Well, I think it's important to distinguish the fact that they are hobby mul hobbyist multimeters, anyway, aren't they? So yeah. I mean, they're used to hobbyists, and there's there's nothing really wrong. As I, say, I, I mean, don't like the battery method. Yeah. I mean, we even use it for actually beyond that, anyway, don't we? Because we use them occasionally when we're diagnosing. Forks with motherboards, etc. Yeah, and we have absolutely no problems with it whatsoever. Oh, look, it still works. It's fine. It's lovely, lovely big display. It is absolutely rock solid. Um, I haven't gone around dropping it and drop tests. No, but uh, we tend to respect our equipment anyway, so you can yeah. take care, of, you can take care of it. But um, I mean, that rubber is actually quite a nice bit of rubber anyway, yeah. and it will take a certain good. amount of, of drops. Without damaging it. Um, so, in your unbiased opinion, would you say that 
that it was worth a, a hobbyist if they wanted to buy a multimeter to look into a Unity? Yes, I definitely would. I mean, I now I'm not saying I'm the bee's knees expert on everything on it, but I do hold um, qualifications in electronics. Yeah, I've got an NC in electrical engineering. Um, and actually, at the college I went to, we actually use these, and that's why when I saw it down at a car boot, going, I mean, I can't remember how much it was now. I mean, it was anyway, it was roughly a tenner. And it's got a lovely stand, absolutely so beautifully. It's only, of course, I know um, if you go and buy it in the shop, it costs a lot more, but I, mean, I only paid just under just under a tenner, and it's nothing wrong. With it. I mean. As I said, I don't like the way the battery's done, and the probes. I know that's another thing that um, people go on a lot. Yeah, I mean they're not the sharpest. Um, they've got good strain relief. They're pretty solid. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's a hobbyist thing. I mean, yeah, obviously when I've done work on. Um, larger, more powerful areas. I wouldn't use one of these. No, but that's not what anyway, it's designed for. So. And not, not, not because there's anything wrong with it, but because when I've been on sites doing jobs and in factories doing jobs on bigger things, you just had different equipment, um, a lot more larger industrial equipment. Mm. But I mean, I've I've met straight across the mains of this and had no problems it didn't vaporise me I'm still here yeah. so yeah um, overall well I'm going to have to knock it down a couple of points myself um, because I do not like the battery where I get it in I mean you've got to take the thing apart to put the battery in anyway yeah I'd have preferred a screw panel on the back undo to get the battery yeah. so I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10 lovely all for me very strong and robust Fantastic.